So uh, the first step is to go to um, email .djis.edu, that's to say, and you'll have this same login page. Alternatively, you can go to the school email and access that from the school portal, DJIS webmail. Third option is you can go to the faculty portal where you can access the uh, login page where you have all the tools and then they kind of get from where from wherever to you you'd like to go. Now let's go back to the email that it has through webmail and uh, of course access with the username. Now this is a sample username. Um, okay, let's save the password. So that will lock in to your uh, email inbox um, where you have all the communications here. And um, it's like any usual uh, um, inbox, those who are acquainted with the Gmail, this is actually a Gmail. And those who are acquainted with the Hotmail, also it has the same uh, platform. I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, the email and then we go to other tools such as calendar, documents, sites, groups and the glimpse of more tools that you can use on our um, web-based school services. Right? Right. Um, let's start with the email and actually the Gmail has a different platform from other um, emails since uh, the communication occurs in a threaded form and this is very useful if you want to follow one the same topic now some things to ponder on is how to organize your data here in uh, gmail for example let's say um, you are communicating with the students via email so you get a lot of emails from your students 20 30 40 emails per day and these are dumped into your inbox and you get you lose track of all these um, emails. So the best way is to label them, uh, to create a label. And let's say, for example, I want to create a new label. I, I click more and create a new label. I call this label, like, let's say, um, grade eight. Okay, and click OK. And a new label on the left hand side will appear. You can also change the color of the last label to distinguish it from other labels. So whenever I receive um, email from my grade 8 students, I just click the email directly and move to grade 8 label. Right? And you can see here that this is bold faced since these are new emails. And whenever I receive uh, emails from those students from grade 8, I will transfer these to the label, right? Another useful label is the follow-up label. Uh, this is very useful for um, tasks that you need to do, but you, you have not had the time to do them. So let's say I want to follow up this task with the student and this task with um, that teacher, for example. So I move it back to full up and you have to uh, be aware that every time you log into your inbox you have to check the follow up to uh, remind yourself of the, the emails that you need to follow up on. Uh, mainly this is the platform of the um, email. You have also the, <coughs> the access to chatting. Whoever you want to chat with, you type his name and let's say I want to chat with a teacher and the teacher's name will appear here okay and I want to either send email, invite a chat or send SMS uh, in this case I want to invite a chat so this invitation will appear here and I can start chatting right from the inbox okay and the chatting has also other features like the video, the call, um, and the um, addition of other people to the chat. So we can chat in groups, 
and you can call and you can um, video call them okay and this can pop up as a complete window for your convenience of chatting um, I'm not going to discuss other tools because we have a lot of tools here um, uh, so we're going to move um, next to the calendar I'm going to give you an overview of the calendar and uh, actually the Google Calendar is much different than the calendars that we know.